Welcome back to Skippers, presented by Owner's Box Fantasy Sports. Exciting episode today, Monday, mailbag, answering your fantasy baseball questions. Avery Chenier, Jeremy Roach, Tyler McKillop behind the camera. Jeremy, welcome back. How are you feeling, buddy? I'm feeling good. I've told you this multiple times, Avery, but I think this is going to be my personal favorite segment for Skippers. You cannot, you cannot stop talking about it. I mm-hmm. mean, it's a great name, Monday Mailbag. It's Monday. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure someone else has the name. Probably, I probably got it from somewhere. But let's answer some questions. That's let's what an, I feel. Let's like. answer some questions. But mm-hmm. we have exciting news. Very exciting news. First ever Skippers giveaway, the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. We're going to give away an MLB jersey of your choice. We're not going to judge on what jersey you get. We're just going to get it for you. Who know? would you pick, though? If who you, would I pick? If you won, who? Which jersey would you want? Uh, I'd go like throwback, maybe like Aaron Hill Blue Jays jersey. <laughs> That's not true. I would not get that jersey, but I couldn't come up with anything else. So that's what I'm going to say. To enter, mm-hmm. multiple rules. First, subscribe to the channel. We need that badly. You mm-hmm. know, we need you guys to subscribe. Second, send us a screenshot at Owner's Box on Instagram to show that you're subscribed. Three, if you want extra entries, we're going to have multiple videos this week. If you take screenshots that you have liked and commented on the videos and also DM it to us on Instagram, we will count for extra entries. You can get a max of five entries into this contest. Next Monday, Monday, May 3rd, we will announce the winner on Instagram and YouTube. Yep, that's that's pretty much pretty simple. Free jersey, any jer- jersey you want. Why do you want on a free jersey? Like, yeah, and the instructions will be pinned to the comment of this video. Yeah, it'll be out on Instagram too. Mm-hmm. So subscribe, enter the giveaway. It's exciting times. Tyler, let's get into some questions. If you don't choose John McDonald from those old Jays, the best defender I've ever seen. <laughs> my inspiration for, for my defensive play in baseball. You've got mail. Question number one comes from Sean. He wants to know, how did you guys meet and what made you start the podcast? It's a great question, you Sean. Take, you take um, this one, Jay. So Avery and I knew each other, but we didn't know each other. I knew his brother, who's my age, who plays for VCU baseball. Go Rams. Um and then Avery played on my junior men's team. He was two years old. I think I'll say it's my team, not your, your team. team. Well, come on. <laughs> I was the rookie coming in. Avery was two years old. And then he said he was going to my school. He was transferring from the U.S. Avery's a lefty pitcher. Uh, I was just some, some nobody playing center <laughs> field. Um, and then he came to my school, my school, and then uh, no, we right. played together. And then ever since then, uh, I guess we've started to grow in a – a friendship, yeah, you know, and then uh, I got a job here at Owner's Box, and then I recruited Avery to come. Recruiting, not recommend Best. recruiting. Yeah. Uh, and then from there, it's just been we started this podcast. Why do we start this podcast? But they needed a baseball brand. Two guys who have played baseball, love baseball, love baseball, love fantasy. So we said we we'd start it, and it, ever since then, the past two months have been great. Yeah, I love fantasy mm-hmm. baseball stuff. Love hanging out with my buddy Jared. Best yeah. of both worlds. Next question, T Mac. All right, question number two from Arthur. He's uh, concerned with Sa- Sandy Alcantara, uh, win issues, wants to know if he's a drop candidate. You said you possibly wanted to take this, but I will take it. Mm-hmm. You do not need to worry about Sandy Alcantara. Let mm-hmm. me tell you that. Does it suck that he doesn't get wins? Absolutely. Yeah. Is every Marlins pitcher going to struggle with wins? Absolutely. Do they have like three absolute studs on that team? Yes. Absolutely. So Trevor Rogers, we have mm-hmm. Pablo Lopez, I have in some of my leagues, Sandy Alcantara. These guys are incredible talents. They're going to help your ratios. There's no reason for you to think about dropping them. I mean, he's an unbelievable pitcher. Like, it stinks. It's how baseball works. Getting wins is the team. It's not just the one pitcher, but it's just how it is. You're not, you shouldn't be that concerned with Sandy Alcantara. No, I saw this question and. Arthur just needs to to realize here that stay patient. It's early, and he's looked great yeah. throughout games. And it's always like the sixth or seventh where he lets in like three or four runs. He's looked awesome. He's up to like 99 on the mound. Uh, I would not worry at all. If anything, if you trade him, but I, I would hold him why? personally. No, but I, why? I would never tell you to trade Sandy. Yeah, I wouldn't trade him, especially now. But he's looked awesome, and it's definitely a keep here. Yeah, I mean, someone like... If you're trading him for, like, Dustin May for someone you think could get a little bit, like, okay, maybe, but it doesn't really intrigue me that much. No. But that would be the only guy he would think would get more wins because he's just on a better team. Yeah. Next question. All right, staying with the drop candidates, Ryan McMahon wants to know, Arthur, same question, or same person from Arthur. I think, what, did he ask if he was a sell high or if he wanted to drop him? If he wanted to drop him. No, he said sell high. Yeah, he did say sell high, I think. Oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> from that email. We'll get it from Arthur, but um but no, I think would you sell high on Ryan McMahon? What would you do? It's a, there's one right answer to this, and it's no. 
you don't okay and the right, story is the right, the right answer is yes you sell high no okay why because story is heating up black this is a whole different player okay if story is mcmahon hits, crone is also starting no, to heat McMahon up mcmahon hits second in that lineup okay yeah. Okay. Story hits three. Yeah. Blackman hits four. Yeah. The three and four hitters and have then been. And hits five. Yeah. And their offense stinks. Well, not if you look at the lineup. The top of the order is fantastic by name value. Yeah. Uh, no, well, Story's great. Blackman will heat up at some point. I mean, yeah, he's, he's just been like, too good his whole career just to have a to really terrible hit, year. Right? I don't know if they're they're thinking of putting him one hitter or what they're trying to do, which would only help McMahon if they do that, because then he gets more RBI opportunities. But I don't know. I, I would I, Personally, I would hold him. And I would sell high. Next so, question. So who do you think? Co- so, Coors who, Field effect, right? Coors Field. Yeah. But Coors Field hasn't played like Coors Field at all this year. Like You yeah, look statistically, true. it's only half a run above the average of every other ERA. So, I mean, maybe it heats up. It's early, though, too, right? The weather has been terrible there. But... Also, you look at Ryan McMahon, they've played like 17 of their 21 games at home. So mm-hmm. he has like 66 games left at home and like 71 games. I don't know if that math is correct. It's close. It's not correct. There's no but, way that's correct. There's okay. No way. Well, still, the okay. fact is they have way more games on the road left than they do at home. So okay. I don't know. Maybe that's a, a fair point. Yep. That's a fair point. That's a point. Just to be clear, I don't want my credibility in question. You put it drop candidate with Ryan McMahon. So let's move on, though. Let's yeah, move okay. on. That's our ball. <laughs> that's on you. All right. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> question from Chris. Um, he wants to know what is going on with Kesson Hira? What should he be doing? What What do you guys think of him moving forward? My guy is Kesson Hira. Yeah, you and put him as a breakout guy. Breakout candidate. I didn't say he was going to guarantee breakout, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Yes, I know, I know. Who's another candidate. breakout candidate that we had? Who's JD done? Martinez. And look at that. No, no, that was bounce back. Wait, you say that wasn't oh, breakout. Was no, this is, back. this is bounce back. We were oh, bounce yeah, it was back. bounce back, yeah. Dude, okay, so mm-hmm. you can't, he's not bounce back. I'll tell you that. So if you look at kind of his stats, the outlier looks to be that one year that he was incredible. He stole like 20 bases. And yeah, like when hit, he came out for the first time. Yeah, that's starting to look like the outlier. Last year it was like whiffs high in the zone. His strikeout rate is through the it's roof. It's always been high. He's always strike like he always strikes out a lot. Obviously, he's striking out a crazy rate right now, but he's always been a guy that you expect to strike out a lot. But the question was, what do you do with Kesson Hira? And I struggle to know what to do with Kesson Hira. There's only there's really only two options. You rather bench him till he gets hot, or you drop him. There's and no trade value in him right there's now. There's zero trade value in Kesson Hira, and I tend to think he's going to turn it around, but. I think things get worse before they get better, unfortunately. Some people are talking about like he might get sent down, which is a point you said, like the minor league season starts maybe mm-hmm. next week, I think. Alternate site, you're not gonna what is yeah, Kesson here gonna do at an alternate site that's gonna make him better than If anything he, you're just trying to send a message but like it's, what are you doing? Like it, it's not Kesson here is not a drop for me yet. No. He's a hold. Hopefully you have a deep bench to hold him, but he's hurting your ratios right now. All right, last question. This one's from Shane. He wants to know what is going on with Luis Castillo. Should he be trading for him? Trading for him? No. I mean, should I be trading Luis Castillo in my leagues? I'm looking into it, probably. So, also, what do you have to say first? I have I have some stuff. This is just crazy. Like, he's been so bad. Like... Everyone had him pretty much. Well, most people at least had him a top ten pitcher this year for fantasy. I think I think you I had, had him as lowest ERA right. in the league. That's not working. He might have the highest ERA in the league. That was a fucking. But wrong he's answer. just like <laughs> I watched some of the Cardinals game and like he just he's just not the guy everyone was thinking he was going to be this year. Yeah. And uh, you're looking at this Reds team. They're better than what I thought they were going to be. Hitting well, wise, they've lost like seven straight games too. Hitting wise, yeah, but I was expecting them to be like one of the worst teams mm-hmm. out there. But um, Tyler Malley's a stud. But he's my, my yeah, guy. he's just not like I don't I don't even know what you do. Like I was trying to trade for him in a couple leagues uh, just because his value is so low. Uh, but then look, watched him in the Cards game. It was like he, he's just not getting better. So, Terrible start against the Giants. Yeah. Um, but so if you look at some of his stats, some of his like underlying numbers are okay. His velo is finally back up to – it's not the same. He's like 98.4, I think, is his max, and he was 99 last year. So it's getting close. But some of his stats, I think – I can't remember which year it was, but he had an absolutely atrocious uh, like April, May in a couple in a couple years ago too. 
and then he ended up having a great se- rest of the season. Mm-hmm. So maybe this is a guy who just needs a little bit to get warmed up, a little bit to get going. We're also in week four or five of fantasy baseball. Like, there's time to panic, but if he was your guy at the start of the season, but he'd be he's the ace on most teams. <laughs> on a lot of teams, yeah. he might be your first pitcher taken, and that. You're probably not doing too good in no. your in your leagues no. right now if that's what's happening. He was going he was going before who Flaherty, definitely like he went before Flaherty in our league FSGA. Yeah, um, but he was going ahead of a lot of t- Corbin Burns. Yeah, he was going ahead. I mean Corbin Burns looks, looks yeah. like a great pick by us. Yeah, hundred percent looks like a great pick. But um, no, I I would hold and maybe sit him a start until he figures it out. But uh, I think. I, I, I wouldn't trade. I wouldn't force a trade. I'm pretty sure I would you can't even like trade. cut him in leagues because he's he's, <laughs> he's like so some, high percentage yeah, roster. Some of those leagues you can't yeah, even do that. He's probably locked up. You can't even <laughs> drop him. But no, yeah, hundred percent. Maybe look right. I mean, if the right trade's there, I take someone, it. But if someone wants to buy low, yeah, and they're offering you, you something really good, I, I I would consider taking it. If someone offered me something really good and I was really struggling, and I. Pretty much the future kind of looks uncertain right now. Yeah. Um, I would probably take it, but right. uh, the price has to be there. I'd he's still a great it. pitcher. I'd probably take a trade for Luis mm-hmm. Castillo, too. Any more notes from you, T Mac? No, that's it. Any make, more notes from you? No, make sure you uh, submit your questions. We got a bunch, so uh, make sure you email. Uh, we'll have the email there. Uh, any question you want, we'll answer. We'll answer in the comments. We'll get a too. shout out, name shout out on the pod. Make sure you guys enter that contest. It's going to be a yes. big one. Why wouldn't you want to win a jersey? Easy. Subscribe. Send us a screenshot and you're in. All right. That's it for me. It from the boys. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.